number one Iron Age booty daddy. Backlash to the e-girl gym culture has finally started. And ladies and gentlemen, kind of weird. A little terrifying. Some humor in there. But ultimately, what else did we think was going to happen? Ladies and gentlemen, the online culture and becoming an online celebrity has absolutely infected everybody. I mean, point in case, right? Why would I turn a camera on and share my thoughts to the internet if that wasn't some version of what I was trying to do, right? Everybody has to be a little bit narcissistic to film themselves and do something. But the e-girl culture in the gyms has taken on a whole new life. Now, about a month ago, there was a girl out there, <clears throat> you know, doing her e-girl video and then tried to come out and say how, oh, evil men were just doing this stuff while she's sitting there in what could only be considered just <laughs> slightly better than a porno outfit to try and work out in, <clears throat> right? And a guy simply tries to come up, help her. She freaks out. The internet was like, dude, you're an idiot, okay? And the backlash ensued. Now, what's been going on ever since that video and we're starting to see the backlash to all of this is that men in gyms are no longer offering to help or spot or try to work with a lot of women now this isn't in every gym and in fact there are plenty of videos out there showing fantastic gym culture and people working with each other and helping each other out and i think that is fantastic i am not a gym culture person I'm very insecure when I go to the gym, and so I try to do workout stuff here at home when I do work out, and it's been a while. Probably should get back into that. But ladies and gentlemen, there are two videos here that kind of exemplify, and I'm not, I'm just gonna show the quick, the, the, the quick stills of the videos and talk about them. So in this video here, and this one is said that, that it was staged, and it may or may not be, depending. But this video here has been circulating around. Tim Pool even covered it uh, today, I believe, on his channel. And this is of a girl here who's trying to do the bench press. <clears throat> she doesn't have a spotter. It looks like she's in somewhat of a warehouse uh, gym, uh, probably lower profile. Now, don't know if she's there by herself or not, but this video is being used to exemplify why these e-thoughts and these e-girls should not be demonizing everyone who walks into their videos to simply get clicks on the internet, because that's how it's being viewed. Now, this young lady here, she's trying to push. Let's see, it looks like she's got 245s. What, 245? So what? She's probably pushing up about over 200 pounds right now, right? 45-pound bar plus a couple of 45s. 90, well, maybe not quite that, maybe about 110, 120 pounds. So and it looks like she's a rather petite thing. She gets the bar down to her chest and can't push the bar back up and begins to struggle with it. Now, if anybody's ever been in that situation, you know it gets kind of crazy. A lot of people are saying that it's because of all these e-girls online that nobody came up to help her because God forbid somebody comes up to help someone and then is demonized and says, oh, they were trying to assault me, they were trying to do bad things, and so on. Now, the next video that goes to what e-girls are doing, and this is an e-girl, is right here, this video right here. This girl's sitting here, she's filming, and this guy comes up in the background and basically is like, look, you, you need to stop filming. Like, this is ridiculous. I don't want to be on camera. Most of the people in the gym probably don't want to be on camera. Most people, when they go to the gym, just want to be left alone. Now, these women claim that they want to be left alone, but the fact of the matter is, is that I highly doubt they want to be left alone based off of what they're doing, right? They obviously don't want to be left alone. They're wearing very, very, I mean, you can basically see all right here. I mean, there's, there, there's almost not a point for some of these girls wearing what they're wearing in the gyms to even be having clothes on at all. I mean, why? If you're going to show everything off, you might as well just, you know, go all natural, right? But the backlash to this is beginning. And I have a hope. My hope is that the backlash to this is one. We start to see a little bit more modesty when it comes to some of these girls online. That would be absolutely fantastic. They obviously do things for clicks and shares and things like that. And they're posting videos of them working out because they are absolutely trying to get attention online. And obviously, it's getting a lot of attention online, even from people such as myself who are going, holy crap, what's happening? The other thing that I'm really hoping is that gyms do two things. One, instill a dress code. Okay, we have a style of dress, all right? Sweaters, hoodies, regular gym pants, you know, and absolutely no video recording. In fact, I think that would be a fantastic thing to do. 
right? Gyms could simply say, at this gym, you are not allowed to record your workouts for online purposes. There, there are people here who want to work out in private, and we want to respect our gym members. Ultimately, the day and age of the e-girl has gotten so out of hand that it is starting to come back at them. And I hope it does. Not with a fiery fur. Fury. I don't and fiery furry. That's a different con. <laughs> That's a different topic there. But I do hope that what comes of this are much better interactions in the gym. We start getting these toxic e girls the hell out of our society. Okay. When they're trying to weaponize something that doesn't exist for the purposes of clicks on the internet. There are a few videos when I was actually perusing trying to find these videos again on Twitter. There are women actually being assaulted in gyms. Bad. It's caught on tape. And it's bad. And things like this, women like this, are destroying the culture for honest women out there who are just trying to live, honestly. And that's the crux of the situation. Not only are these women out there making men horribly uncomfortable to be in a gym, I would say, I mean, it would be nice to have all male gyms and all female gyms, but that goes against Title IX. Not allowed to do that, right? Not allowed to discriminate, right? You're not allowed to discriminate, but women are absolutely allowed to come in and harass and harangue people and use your gym members online for clicks. So hopefully... The backlash to the e-thoughts and the e-girls begins. And I do hope that gyms protect their members. I do hope that men protect themselves. And I do hope that the good women out there, and there are good women out there, stand up to these women and say, no, you get the hell out. We have a good gym culture here, and we don't like your kind. What do you mean, my kind? Is that racist? No, you're an e-thought. Get out of here, e-thought. Be gone. But only they made a spray can that said thought begone. And every time you saw a thought, you could go and they would leave. Kind of like bear spray. But bear spray doesn't really work. Hmm. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, let me know what you think about this video. And let me know what your experiences in the world with stuff like this are. I don't experience a lot of that. I just see a lot of what's going on. I do happen to know a lot of men that deal with crap like this, though. And a lot of my friends that have dealt with absolutely insane women like this. And it's part of the reason that I want to talk about it. I got lucky when I was younger and found the love of my life when I was 19. So I got to avoid a lot of this, thankfully. But let me know what you guys think down below. And never forget that 11 a.m. Central on Sundays, I do a special live stream to read all of your comments. It's called Sunday Coffee. We go, we sit down, we have some coffee, and we talk with each other about your comments and about, you know, other things going on in the world. So, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for being here on A Drink With Crazy. And until next time. Cheers, everybody. Thank you all so much for checking out this video. Never forget, if you would like to be a part of my supporter live streams, head over to my Gilded or my Locals. Links down in the description, and you guys can join me for those live streams every single Wednesday. But right now, I would love to say thank you to everybody who is supporting me. Over on Locals, we've got Little Andean, Sword Rush, Frequency Studios, Katie Francis, Kikomon, Iron Age Media. We also have... Over on the Gilded, JP, the Myriosphere Origin, Skunk's Workshop, and the Gold Tier, he is an Iron Age booty daddy. Trippy Soul, also another Iron Age booty daddy, Kiko Mon, and Frequency Studios to round all of it up. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for being here on the channel, and I will see you all in the supporter live streams.